Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be recreating Jacqueline Fernandez look. One of my favorite YouTubers, Varsha, also created this look using Kalabar Cosmetics and so I also had to create this. Anyway, she used Kalabar Cosmetics but I do not own all the products from them so I'm gonna create with whatever I have. So if you wanna know how I created this look, so please keep on watching. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'm Shubhanshli. I create makeup videos. And if you relate to my style of makeup, please subscribe to my channel. And let's start the video. To begin with, I'm using this Sugar Arch Arrival Brow Definer in the shade 01, which is deep blackish brown. Now this is my holy grail when it comes to brows. So I'm brushing the brows in the upwards direction to check for the sparse areas and then I'm going to fill them up. So when you make your brows your face looks more put together and well framed. Next I'm using this Pixi concealer in the shade medium to prep my eyes and I'm going to just apply the concealer all over my lids and then using the damp sponge I'm going to spread it all over the lids and then I'm going to dust it with the translucent powder so that there are no creases when we do the eye makeup. I'm using the all set to go sugar translucent powder and just putting the powder on my lids just dusting it off to make sure there are no creases. So for the eyes I'm using the dark brown shade from my palette and just trying to build the crease. Once I know that the crease has been built and has been given a little bit of depth I'm going to work on my eyelids with a copper bronze shade. So I'm just using my fingers to apply this shade all over my lid. And then I'm using my You Can Be Pretty All Set palette to prepare my green liner, sea green liner. Uh, basically you can use, there's a color bar liner that you get in the same shade that Jacqueline uses. But since I do not have that liner, I'm going to make my own liquid liner. So I've used Duraline, so I'm using just one drop of Duraline and mixing it with my shadow to prepare this liner. And then I'm going to just use this Sigma brush and apply it on my lash line. This is actually the flat definer brush from Sigma. I'm going to list down all the products I have used in the description box below. So I'm just applying this custom liner on my lash line as well as on the lower lash line. And as you can see, I'm just going to pull out a little wing. So coming to the base, make sure that you have applied a good primer before you start working with the color corrector. So to cancel all the dark spots on my face, I've used this orange corrector from LA Girl. So if you have very less dark spots or uh, very you know minor pigmentation, you can just use a peach corrector. You don't need to go for the orange corrector. Since I do not have any peach corrector, I'm just going to use the orange corrector that I have and I'm going to apply it in very less quantity and then I'm going to just blend it with the damp sponge and on top of it I'm going to apply this pixie concealer again so that it gives a full coverage and so that we do not see any orange tinge on our face. Next wherever the concealer has been applied I'm going to use the translucent powder from sugar and dust it over so that again there are no creases. And then for the foundation, I'm going to use my all-time favorite sugar stick foundation and apply it using the usual dot technique. And then I'm going to just blend everything with my Kabuki brush from CS Essentials. 
Now brush gives a very high coverage so if you want to tone everything down and give, give a very natural and a seamless finish make sure that you use a damp blender on top of the brush. Make sure that you apply the foundation to the neck as well so that your neck and the face doesn't look different. Next I'm using this Hoola mini bronzer for contouring so I'm, I'm going to apply it using the brush that comes along with the packaging uh, and I'm going to use it on my nose, on the hollows of my cheeks and also on my jawline to give some chiseled effect to our face like Jacqueline has. So for the blush, I'm using the Wet n Wild blush in the shade Mellow Wine and on top of it, I'm using another blush from Colabar which is in the shade Coral Craving. So and I'm using the powder brush from Pro Art to blend everything so that everything looks all flawless and seamless. And for the highlighter, I'm using my Smashbox Ablaze palette and using the Champagne highlighter on the tip of my nose, on my on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my chin and also on the high points of my cheeks. And the same highlighter I'm going to be using to highlight the brow bones. So for that I've used a very small brush like a dome shaped brush. And the last step is to apply some mascara after curling the lashes. So for the mascara I've used the Maybelline Hypercurl mascara. So for the lipstick, I do not own the lipstick, the perfect nude lipstick that Jacqueline has. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette I'm, and I'm going to create my own shade of lipstick. So I've used the shade 1 and 8 which is an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Plus on top of it, I have used this Sugar Smudge Me Not lipstick in the shade Brandy off and everything I'm going to use the Swiss Beauty fixing spray so that our makeup sets and stays for long and here is the final look I hope you liked the look if you did please comment down below and share it with your friends and do try it if you like it and let me know what you think about it thank you for watching